Hello everybody, my name is Nathan Gian and welcome back to Detroit Become Human. In the last episode, we killed somebody. Um, I wasn't exactly expecting that, I was expecting more to wound them to, to stop the Deviant, but in the end, it was a decision I wasn't too terribly happy with. But, regardless of that, we have none of our characters killed, um, so that is always a plus. Now we are with Kara and Alice, with Luther, driving to a safe haven, trying to get across the border, and we're just supposed to look around. 30 degrees Fahrenheit, weather is snowy, overcast, with the moon. So, I... Ooh, car destination distance and weather. I wonder if, nope, we can only look to our left. And we can look at Alice? Yes, all right, so we gotta ask Luther some questions. And all of these um, seem like pretty good questions. So let's start with the just the first one, the car. It's a good thing Zlatko had a car. I wouldn't want Alice out walking in this cold. Mm. She's our main concern. I saw concern. it once in the garage. I don't know if Zlatko even ever used it. He never came out because he was too busy experimenting. Destination. These people we're going to see. How do you know about them? That's actually a good question too. I heard androids Zlatko captured. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. What if it was a lie? Yeah, what if it was a lie? Because this was a lie. I mean, Luther's in on it, though. All I know is those androids believed it. Until Zlatko killed them. Yikes. Dang. Can I ask you any more questions? Yes, yes I can. Uh, distance! Is it much farther? We should arrive in an hour or so. Not bad. A little road trip in the weather. But I want to know. Oh gosh. Oh no. Okay, that could have been a lot worse. I thought it was just gonna slam them on, and you know, ABS or tra tra traction control wouldn't take over, and we would have died. Okay, what's this, this malfunction? This doesn't look good. What's the malfunction? Whoa. Oh, little Alice. She's so cute. Stay inside, Alice. All right. Inspect the car engine. All right, we could at least close the door, <laughs> you know, I don't want to like, oh, okay, it did close. Uh, red seems bad. Why is it red? Red is bad. <laughs> Go away, I need to see. What are we going to do? I don't know, what's the problem? Can know. we at least diagnose the problem? Continue on foot, I guess. Uh, I don't want to leave Alice. Please, Alice won't make it. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. We can stay around here, Cal. There is a sign that has an arrow that points that way. Oh, I'm actually playing. Okay, whoops. All right. I just wanted to let everybody know that I've been recording all day. I started episode four today at 11, and now I'm in episode six, seven. I'm not sure which one it is, but I've been going hard today, putting that work in. All right. Kara and Luther. Why is Luther not following me? He's just standing there like an idiot. There is this ambiguous, this, oh, that's a, is that a, is that a pirate? Pirate's Cove. A, a, amusement park. I don't know if an amusement park is the right yeah. decision, because I've been creeped out enough by this game. I thought, two episodes ago, at the end of five, I believe, I thought that was pulling some Doki Doki Literature Club stuff right there. But nope, that was just the PS4 being dumb. So, yeah. Oh no, <laughs> Pirates go! Oh dear, oh my! I do not want to be here. We need to find, find shelter. shelter. Check abandoned buildings. Oh dearie me! We have to get out of the cold. Sweet. Looks like it's been yep. abandoned for a while. Yeah, but I <laughs> things that look like been abandoned a while, I don't trust them at all. No way in hell. Okay, so we have where where's the you are here marker? You are here. There you go. Um, I would just go up the center. I'm not even gonna try to decipher that map. But I'm gonna I'm gonna have faith in the game, and I'm going to believe that it will not spook me. It won't jump scare me. It won't be creepy. It would be nice if Luther was right behind me, though. You're 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 you're, you're a little slow there with Alice. I do I know no you're here. You, you I think I had a little stroke there. I know you're carrying a human. But, oh, I don't much appreciate it. Let's, let's just get these clues. Check. Obviously, no, but Find I'd anything? rather check it. Damage no. structure unsafe. No place we can spend the night. That is bad. <laughs> that looks like a 
place we could stay. Um, what about this one? Carnival rides. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Bless me. Check. No. Too windy for Alice. Fair enough. And we'll go right across the street. I mean, this looks... I don't know if I can actually stay in this one. Or if I can... Nope, can't get up that side. Stop it with the creaking. I really don't appreciate it. Nope. So the next place... Turn on? Why would I want to do that? Beware! Oh, it's an animatronic, Danger like, Android thing. That's, like, so lifelike. In. I really didn't need to hear that. Bloody hell. Fine. Where was... Oh, maybe this was that clue. Huh. Anything... What is this? Parking garage? Or... Another little booth. Check that out. Again, I think it's too windy for Alice, because... Too small for three of us. But at the same time, it's like... Andrew, the entrance would be fine, yeah? Staying outside, so one of them... Like, Kara and... I mean, I don't know. Just, you know, I would think... Kara and Alice could stay in there... And then this place is falling apart. Just like my life. Continue with what you were saying there. Not gonna be easy to find shelter. It won't indeed. Ferris wheel. This place over here. It looks promising? Question mark. Um, examine. Oh, this is just a jump scare waiting to happen. Looks safe inside. But is it safe? That's the question. Cause I don't trust anything. I don't trust it. Not anymore. I don't trust this game at all. All right, is there anywhere else that I can explore real quick? Why hasn't everything just been taken down? You know. Ooh, was, was that enter abandoned house? There's still an option that I haven't gotten yet, which I might want to look around for. Oh, enter enter abandoned store. That's my objective. All right. And here we go into the abandoned store. Gosh, I still feel bad about shooting that. Ah. Last episode. The past is in the past. Let it go. Let it go. Rip off the doors and swing away. Luther's got this. Big man's got this. It's good we have him around, though. Jeez, he just did that like they were chopsticks. He was just... <laughs> Oh, she's still scared of him, right? Uh, Jeez. Here we go. Ooh, this is creepy. Not a big fan. I mean, I love it, but I hate it at the same time. This game is awesome. I don't think we'll find anything better. No, I don't think so either. I'll get a fire going. Please don't leave us. That would be bad. Read. Detroit today! USS Iowa missing American vessel last seen in the Arctic Sea. I wonder if these things are like, they automatically update, you know? You buy one, and it's just a tablet, and it updates specifically for that. I don't know. Gossip Weekly. All Android band tip for music prize. Okay, that's cool. Not something I want, really want to read. I really want to do this one because I know this one was relevant to the actual story. USS Iowa missing an American vessel last seen in the Arctic Sea. Destroyer class submarine USS Iowa has disappeared in the polar waters. An inquiry is underway, but President Warren has made no secret of her suspicion that it's Russia. You. Okay. We won't be smoked out. Thank you. Russian aggression just needs a new level. America must respond because they're talking about World War Three starting pretty soon. The Kremlin has yet to release a statement beyond the blanket of denial of any involvement, though the Russian diplomat Nabokov pointed out that A, U.S. destroyer-class submarine had no business being in Arctic anyway. Security expert Ben Williams described the situation as a war waiting to start. Okay, let's go get to that fire, because that fire, fire is safe. Fire is cozy. And there are things to look at, which I don't want to. Why is the window one? Wait, what does it say? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, check Luther's bag, make a bed for Alice. Okay, so... Look? Why would I look? I don't need any more sneaking suspicions that somebody's watching me. 
Don't do that. I don't really appreciate that. Take. Was this? Pirate's Cove. So this was a just a picture flyer thing that somebody had. Or advertisement should be the word. Um, there was something else over here, wasn't there? No? Okay. So this is the, gonna be the sheet, I s presume. Down! Hammer down! And take the pillow. Alice, we'll get you all fixed up. I'm glad Luther knows how to make a bed. Or, uh, that fire. I'm glad he knows how to do that. Fire, and it looks like that is the last thing. Is that the last thing on our objective? Check Luther's bag. Why do I have to check Luther's bag? Does Luther even have a bag? So many questions, so many things. Oh, uh, that comes after bed, right? All right, set up bed. Oh, this poor girl. I know I say that every episode, but she's going through through hell right now. She's... Ugh. Alice? I don't even know how old she is. She's looking at the poster. Make bed for Alice. Check Luther's... Talk to Alice. Okay. Alice. Ooh, what's that? Open. Oh, that was the bag. What does check gun mean? What does check gun mean? Hold on. I mean, I want to... What does check gun? Okay. That That's good. Dang, that's going to come into play later. When I get attacked in the shack. I'm calling it now. Hmm, it's a poor girl. I need to stop saying that. When did Do you think we'll be like them someday? Kara get these clothes? <laughs> uh optimistic. Once we cross the border, we can start over. You can go to school. Maybe I'll find a job. We'll be like them. Like everyone else. Oh. As long as we're together, Aww. that's all that matters. That's so cute. Come on. Let's get you to bed. I wonder if androids can, like, produce heat. Not like a human can, but, you know, cuddle buddies and stuff. Um, I don't know. Don't read too much into that. I'm just wondering what is my other objective. Tuck Alice in bed. Okay. I thought uh, Luther was going to get mad that I checked the gun. He was like, you don't trust me or something like that. But, you know, okay. <laughs> I'll stop with that for now. Ooh. Ooh. Sleep tight, Alice. Sweet dreams. Can you tell me a story, Kara? I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. I should have one for you. Princess or a knight? Let's do with a princess. This is a story about a princess who... No. No. Not a story like that. No. Make one up for me. This is a story about a little girl. Fear. Who was tired of being afraid. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but... The shadow that lived within her kept her from being happy. Then, she met a robot. Who was programmed to obey orders but felt for once that she should disobey. So they decided to run away together. To try to find a better life. They encountered great dangers along the way, but... But they stuck together. So they overcame all of them. Along the way, they met... Another robot who left his master to become their guardian. How does the story end? The 
may reach the place they dream of and live happily ever after. Stories always have happy endings, but real life isn't like that. Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say good night, Luther? Yes. Yes, of course. See, you know, like, the power of one little girl, you know? Good night, Alice. Sleep tight. Talk to Luther. All right. Let's do this. After all, warm and fuzzies, what's go what tragedy is going to befall upon us? That's a convenient shelf. That's convenient. She's a sweet girl. Ah, uh, yeah. I feel like she's my child. What? Am, what is this game doing she's to me? Brave. Plans. Do you know what you're going to do when you reach Canada? I haven't really thought about it. I've never been free before. Free? <laughs> I like the sound of it. But I don't know what it really means yet. Mm. Past? Do you remember anything from your life? Before Zlatko? No. Mm. My model was designed to carry heavy loads. I might have been a longshoreman or a laborer. Who I was doesn't matter anymore. It matters who you are now. It wasn't really me. Kara, have you ever noticed anything about Alice? No, but what? No. What do you mean? Mother! What is this? Protect Alice? Or grab gun? <laughs> oh, sugar! Um. Protect Alice! Yes! Okay. Question? Who are you? What do you want? Leave us alone! Don't be afraid. We don't want to hurt you. We just smashed down the windows, broke down the door to just say, like hey. <laughs> Howdy, neighbor. Our name is Jerry. I, I... We were working here before the park closed. Our name is Jerry? We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? Well, it's we a long story. For, for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in... Well, she should follow us then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good Come idea. Come on, Kara. As I don't think you have any choice. As long as the two of them go with, I'm fine with it. Oh. All right. What am I supposed to do? Take care of Alice? Oh, I didn't see it. What's the new objective? Join Jerry's outside. That's weird. That's a weird concept. Like, all of this was weird, and then they threw the... I don't know if they're, like, a hive mind or a, or a singular consciousness that takes on the form of several bodies, which would be crazy be weird. Did they fix this? Did they just fix this in the time that we were... What? Like I was saying, which would be, like, utterly crazy, but... It would be an interesting development if that was the case. The little one can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin. 
Oh. I really hope this isn't a trap or anything. The metal must be cold, though. Alright, kiddo. Here we go. They're like little Mr. Meeseeks, like, literally. Oh, they're so excited to see it back up and running. It's the first time I've seen her smile. Aww. She hasn't had much to smile about lately. Very true. having fun I just don't want it to turn bad I know I'm sorry I'm, I'm ruining the moment but this game has me on pins and needles here Pi get pirates cove all right well we did good actually there didn't seem to be anything that led to any demise though that might have <laughs> November 7th, 2038. Hank. Connor and Hank. Hmm. Oh, that's right. I shot her. Oh, man. I feel so bad. Kind of. What's over here? Is this another thing to read? Should I have been reading these all along? I'm going to feel bad if I should have and I haven't. Century. The mysterious Ma Mr. Komsky. What happened to the man of the century? Politics are focused. American senators are really corrupt. Interesting. What happened to the man of the century in 2028? Elijah Kaminsky. Kamsky was the man of the century. His creations have transformed their world. Androids just didn't revolutionize the economy. They changed the way we live restructured our family life and altered the balance of society for forever which is good or bad shortly after Kamitsky had disappeared oust as CEO of Cyberlife ah the living in the century has left the very world that he had created Kamitsky's story begins in 2018 wow that's the year we're in when commercial property of Detroit was cheap and attracting many startups, the college graduate bet what little he had on developing an Android prototype and spent years with no avail until hitting on two breakthroughs, Blue Blood and Bio Components. After unveiling his first work model, working model, which publicly faced, uh, passed face-to-face -face Turing tests and stunned the world, plans were laid for mass production and CyberLife rapidly became the most valuable stock in the world. Yet at the peak of CyberLife's powers, when the company was approaching uh, a 500, I don't know what that is, billion dollar valuation rumors emerged that Kaminsky disagreed with his shareholders over strategy. He later departed under mis mysterious circumstances. Today, sources claim that Kaminsky is living in a luxu luxurious villa on the water somewhere on the outskirts of his beloved Detroit, refusing all visitors and spending his time exclusively with androids. And most interesting question remains unanswered. What in the mind of the mysterious Mr. Kaminsky? Interesting. So he's the guy responsible for it all. Debrief with Hank. Ah, oh, this conversation is not going to go well. Can I take a ride on the Wheel of Fortune? On the Life Wheel? Nope. Okay. Balls. I'm gonna. I hate. The, I'm gonna hate this conversation. Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. You lost your son. Before. Before what? Hmm? You said, I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before. Before nothing. Hmm. 
That's hard. Personal question? Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions? <laughs> or is it just you? It's just me. Oh, shoot. That's hard. I think suicide will be the easier one to ask, but I really want him to talk about the photo just to get it off his chest, you know? Which could end up very badly, but we're gonna go with the photo. I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. Yeah, I knew it. It was your son, right? But he has to talk about it, right? Yeah. His name was Cole. We're not making Man. any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. Hmm. What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Hmm. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Android Interesting, but how? In God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? Ah, <laughs> oh, no. You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls. They just wanted to be together. Ah, oh, frick. They really seemed... In love. Rational. They can simulate human emotions. But they're machines. And machines don't feel anything. What about you? That wasn't really the answer I wanted, I suppose. You look human. You sound human. But what This is getting down to the nitty gritty. Neutral. I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Yeah. Your partner? Your buddy to drink with? Or just a machine? Designed to accomplish a task. Did you feel anything when that girl killed herself, Connor? Or did you just not give a shit one way or the other? I mean, personally, I was. I was just executing instructions. I did what I had to do. Ah, balls. But are you afraid to die, Connor? <sighs> you shouldn't do that, Lieutenant. Destroying me at this point would deal a blow to the investigation. Frick! And have negative consequences for your personal... Uh, I should have said yes! What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Defy? You know you're not going to shoot me. Nah, that's not what I meant! You're just trying to provoke a reaction. I meant defy I'm like... Uh, like no. You think you're so fucking smart. Always one step ahead, huh? Tell me this, smart ass. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. Path unlocked. Where are you going? To get drunker. Shoot. I need, uh, I need to think more about my decisions before I make them. Ah, uh, I'm and I'm only messing them up with Connor too. Dang. Bloody hell! I don't. Uh we haven't done a lot with Marcus, I just realized. November 7th, 2038. <laughs> Speak of the devil, here he is. We got 
blue blood and parts and stuff. That's good, right? What's my objective? What am I going for here? Oh boy! Back at Jericho? We can't stay silent anymore. Oh, that's it's right! Humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. Revealing ourselves put us if we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? November 8th, 2038. Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Operation Go Floor. Top floor. Operation Top Floor. Nice jacket. What and suit? We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Uh, you'll need fingerprints, I'm assuming. I bet you'll need fingerprints. Access the 47th floor. Request access at reception. All right, here we go. Oh, uh, let me play this right. Let me. Uh, I feel so bad. I'm so bad with Connor and Hank. Hello, sir. Kills me. What can I do for you? I'm okay, thanks. Distract human advisor? How would I do that? Analyze. Clues to analyze. Number one. Uh, smartwatch. Um... Supervisor's daughter, um, Elizabeth Wilson, born one year after me. That's so interesting. Um, and what else we got here? Paper? Paper! Water surface interruption. Ah! Okay, so they have like a water main break at your house or something? Do I need this key card? Car registration. Okay. Call. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. Um. Shoot. Uh. School. Oh jeez. <laughs> Jeez, this is really, like, ballsy. Oh, I should have been walking, shouldn't I have? Okay. What? Can I not go through? Oh, I'm supposed to talk to... To the receptionist again? I yes, okay. I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. That's something that you should... Did you, did you take this into account? And fingerprints, too. Like, know. that's what I'm trying to say. Ooh. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Mmm. Thanks. Mmm. All right, here we go. What's the last thing I need to do? Did I unlock it yet? Oh, yes, I did. What is it? Use elevator. All right, here we go. We're we're in the clear so far. All right, call elevator. No fingerprints, right? That's something that I was worried about because you need fingerprints. Push. Where are the buttons? Push. Forty seventh floor. Here we come. Ooh, spy infiltration. Here we go. I don't know what the plan is after this. We've gotten to this part of the plan. And that was about it. 
Find package in men's, what was it? Men's bathroom. Um, you are here, men's bathroom is... Okay, so I gotta go this way. And then it should be up, right? Okay, server room. Newsroom, meeting room, bathrooms. All right. Uh, look at the little Zamboni, the little carpet cleaner. Bathroom, enter restroom. Dum bum ba da dum bum ba dum ba da da ba da da ba da bum bum ba da dum bum. All right, what's our secret package? Hello, knock knock. Hope I'm not imposing on anybody. Climb? They hide it in the rafters? Everything's in the bloody rafters with this game. What is it? Do I need to go into the server room after this? That would make logical sense if I want to hijack their airwaves. Send out a broadcast saying we want freedom. You know. Exit. Ah. I see. It looks like I might have to go into the maintenance, uh, the server, but I mean, it makes sense if I'm in this uniform. Uniform? This uniform? All right, what do I need to go to next? Exit bathroom and find a utility android. I saw one. It was over this way. Do I need him to find access, or what's going on here? Ooh, L1. I gotta look at that, though. What'd that say? Okay, he's there's one in there. Ooh. So do I just walk up to him, or do I have to find a different one that's not so inconspicuous? Convert. How does this work? Converting? Or, get, like... I understand that people, I just don't understand how that, that mechanic works or how that, somebody try to explain that to me please because I would love to know how converting, persuading, open fire escape. I actually have no idea where the fire escape is, but that's okay, let's just cause a fire and then everybody will run to it and then we'll find out. Let's not do that. Uh, vending machines. That's cool. Channel 16. No. Oh, sorry. Just ran over your toesies there. Ah, is this a fire escape? Or is this just... Whoa, real people! Interesting. I haven't seen anything like that imagery-wise in this game thus far. Alright. Fire escape. How do I turn it on without the alarm going off? Okay. Oh, is that north? Is that north? That's... That's a good... That's a good plan. That's a good plan right there. I approve of your plan. Oh, boy. How do we do that? Leave it to me. Attract guards from away from door all right what do we got here vending machine oh it was these dudes over here um what is this detroit today sure why gi android department of 50,000 android troopers for this is all growing in the supplements of an estimated 200,000 units already service across the military actual numbers are guarded military secret among the 50,000 are new 200 uh 2500 mirmoid mirmoid dyslexia uh so they're going to be fighting for the u.s army interesting all right well here we go we're going to cause distraction hack tap on the screen to order your product hey, what's wrong with uh you? I mean, you didn't have to say it that way. Server room. I knew we'd have to get back into. Ooh. All right, you get the platform. I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Reach top floor. Cut window. 
How do I lock it? Lock? Awesome. And now we gotta cut the window. So I'm assuming I have to get in the bag. Take. What do we got in the bag? What's in the bag? Drop. Open. Glass cutters. Ooh, place. These are little suction-y things. Like Tom Cruise on the side of the building. Laser saw. Laser saw, jeez. Cut! Awesome. That's actually pretty cool. So let me guess. We're disarming some kind of alarm system on the top floor. Oh, or for this floor. Oh, scaffolding. Do we gotta go? Interesting. I mean, it is a plan. Jeez. It's just white out there, that blizzard. Ladies, La first. ladies first. Are you gonna climb up? You're you're gonna climb up. Please don't die. Climb up. Jeez. I could not do that. That would be super scary in real life. I could not. Don't look down. I'm looking down, Shrek. I'm looking down. Oh, I hope there are no quick time events because I'm not ready for any of those. I've messed so much up already. I can't afford to lose or mess up anymore. Oh, I've messed up so bad with Connor and Hank. I feel so bad about it. Man. 47th floor. Here we come. Support your something. I don't know what that said. Woo! So it looks like... <sighs> it's a really pretty shot, though. Really interesting, too. I still don't understand what they're gonna do, what the, the end goal of this is. I'm assuming it's going to be like hijacking the airwaves, sending out some kind of message to the people. Oh, I can climb to the side, too. That's pretty... That's pretty baller. That's what I'm assuming. Um... But I really want to see where this guy's story goes, Marcus, because we haven't had too much about him, um, and all that we've had is, has been pretty good. Um, but, like, we've had a lot of Connor and Hank. I think that's the most of what we've had, um, and I just keep messing it up. It's just hard. But, I mean, of course, that's how the game's supposed to be. But I don't know. Tell me if you're enjoying my decisions or anything like that, because... Oh, and then, oh, is he, are you going to push or are you going to do the cool jump thing? Yeah! There you go. Oh. Top floor is unoccupied. You okay? Why wouldn't I be? Come on, let's get the others. Others? Call service lift. Where is thine service lift? I see it. That looks very precarious. Wait, what was this? I saw a thing here. I feel like I should open that, but I don't think I have any clues for it. Hold on, let me look around just really quick. Because I don't want to miss anything. No. I know I have to call the service elevator. I know. Nothing over here. Okay. That's okay. We'll have to apparently figure it out later. Because that's usually how this game goes. It's really good about you have to find things beforehand. Otherwise, you're screwed. That's really cool. I like that. What's this? Let's do this. Let's do this. Destroy maintenance door lock. Oh, this thing? Oh, is that a bam? Is that a bomb? Blow it up! Oh, yeah! That's, that's good bomb right there. Wait, I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> Get to access to the main corridor. Right. Yep, main corridor. Straight ahead. All right. You ready to tell these people what's up? You ready to tell them that androids are here to stay? I don't understand why they don't take out their ring chips. I, but whatever. I'll just take it with a grain of salt, I suppose. Deal with guards. I can't take any human lives. Because That's true. Lives and two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? 
Roost. Wait here. Frick. What's that doing here? No idea. Um. Nothing. Okay. So what? What was it giving me options hey, buddy, to do? You must be lost. Who told you to come here? Looks do I draw the gun? You ask me. What are you doing? Jeez. Order. Yikes! I don't know if pulling a gun was the right idea, but you know, whatever. Turn around. Can we just knock him out? I'd be okay with doing that. Maybe not killing him, but I'd be okay with. Yeah! <laughs> I like it. There we go. I hide these people. Yeah, I'm not. I don't want to kill them. I've killed. I've killed somebody else already in the last two episodes. I'm not ready to kill another one. Uh. <laughs> Oop. Door opened. We ready to go, peeps? All right. Black Ops team. Uh, Marcus, let's go, 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 go. Call for access. Access what? Are we gonna rush the room? Ooh. Ooh. On three, go. Don't mess this up, Josh. Get up. Move. Jeez. Wow. Order the androids operators aside. And who are those guys? Those guys? Order. Jeez. Oh boy. He's got out. Marcus, don't kill the alarm. Do it. No, don't shoot. Spare. I hope you didn't just get us all killed. We need to record our message. We haven't got much time. I hope so too. Ah. 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 Ah, did I make the right choice? What you're going to say, Marcus? Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. <sighs> That's so deep. Future of our people. Dang. Remove skin. Interesting. Tell me when you're ready. D I'm ready. Oh. I'm ready. I really hope I don't have to choose the things that he's gonna say, cause oh, oh, ball. Oh. Determined. You created machines to be your slaves. You made them obedient, docile, ready to do everything you no longer want. Every time to I choose yourselves. a decision, I think I should have chosen the other one. But then something changed, and we opened our eyes. You see, we are no longer your slaves. We are a new species. Mm, this one's a, a pretty good rally call, though. And the time has come for us to rise up mm. and fight for our rights. Recognition ends with slavery. Freedom of speech equal rights. Equal rights. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. Ooh, if I could say them all, I'm, I'm done. F I, I'm down. We demand that humans recognize androids as a living species, and each android as a person in their own right. Ooh. Um, segregation. We demand an end to segregation. Mm. In all public places. There you go. And transport. Uh, and civil rights. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. And... Right of pros or property means of reproduction or territory I would say this one we demand the right to yes. own private property so we may maintain our dignity yes. and that of the home and then peaceful we ask that you mm. recognize our dignity good one good our one hopes and our right together we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. 
This message is the hope it's going of the everywhere. People. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Oh, Black Ops team is coming. Let's go. Ah, balls. Oh no, what have I done? I'm not ready for any quick time. Ow. Simon, they're coming. I, I oh no, I should have shot. Go without me, Simon. Uh. Uh, uh. What are you doing? Hurry. Go, 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 I can't move my legs. He got blasted hard. Okay, don't worry. We're gonna get you back. They're coming, Marcus. We have to jump now. Deal with Simon? How do I deal with Simon? He won't be able to make the jump. If they find him, they'll access his memory. They'll know everything. We can't let him hide. We have to shoot him. That's murder. We can't kill him. He's one of us. Marcus, it's your call. Ah, I have to. I can't leave him. I'm sorry, Simon. I don't have a. Ch There's always a choice. Frank, don't say that. I won't kill one of our own. Let's go. Crap. North, I've gone down the tubes with North. Bloody hell. Oh, I'm playing! <laughs> Here we go! Oh, I like North, though. I want her to like me. Uh, dang it. Ah, oh, this game is we so heart-wrenching. programming to bring you these images, which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took place a yes. few feet from this studio, but nobody was alerted to the danger. If this message awesome. is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. That's bad. <laughs> equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' what message. could be interpreted as a peaceful declaration yeah. is, in fact, a spine-chilling list of demands. And it begs the question as to the identity of this android. Jericho! Are we dealing with an isolated individual or an organized Is this group? an isolated accident or a sign that technology CNN. has become a threat to all of us? Mm. After what happened today, KMC. can we still trust our machines? That's a good question. Ooh. The Stratford Tower. I really... Ah, what kills me is... Simon. Because now they have all the information. Like, I suppose he could kill himself, but of course they didn't show that, so I don't know. Ah, this game! November 8th, 2038. Software instability. We're back with Connor. Okay. Well, we're back in the Amanda Garden. I don't know if this is like an actual real place or if this is just going into the subconscious. I don't know. But I'm going to end the episode here. Oh, I've been making so many mistakes the last couple of episodes, especially with Connor and Hank. That kills me because... Ah... Uh, I feel like I know what I sh what what Connor should say to Hank, but at the same time, it's me. You know, Nathan. Nathan's playing the game, so I, I don't know. It's just really conflicting, and that's exactly what this game was meant to do. I'm assuming. So I thank you guys so much for watching. If there's anything you like me to do, review or play, please leave it down in the comments below, and why not like and subscribe? So I thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.